I just finished this book, Letting Go, and oh my god, it is so good. If you don't know what letting go means in this book, it is talking about letting go of all desire of wanting something, letting go of expectations, letting go of fear, letting go of negativity, letting go of resentment. It is the pathway of surrender. And in a previous video, I talked about the mechanism of letting go. Maybe it was a live stream actually, but instead of going into super detail, I'll get to the overview of how to let go and more importantly, how to let go constantly. Because you don't want to just let go only when a big negative feeling arises and you're just feeling completely overwhelmed with negativity and you want to let that that feeling go, you want to let go every little thing that arises so that you're just unblocked and free. Yeah, free. Free is the best word. You're not weighed down by negative feelings or expectations, anything like that. Here's the basic overview. We surrender a feeling by allowing it to be there without condemning, judging, or resisting it. We simply look at it, observe it, and allow it to be felt without trying to modify it. With the willingness to relinquish a feeling, it will run out in due time. Choose to surrender negative feelings rather rather than express them. Ignore thoughts. They are merely endless rationalizations of inner feelings. So don't focus on your ruminating thoughts, but focus on the feelings, the sensations in your body and allow them to be. Just let them be. Accept that they are there and stay with them for how long it, however long it lasts. Now here's the more interesting question. How can surrendering be more constant? The secret to using this mechanism more often and more consistently is first of all, the wish to do so. That is step one. You have to want to be free of the feeling more than you want to keep it. Sometimes it is just a matter of remembering. You can use some kind of cue card to remind you. That's why on my note on my phone, I changed it to, I want to break free, not hold on to feelings. Before that, it said, make the best possible videos you can. But I like this one better. I want to break free, not hold on to feelings. I think that's way more important. Another way is to establish a routine. It is very good to start the day by surrendering your thoughts and feelings about your expectations, to picture the way you would like it to go, and to let go of all negative thoughts that would interfere with the day going in that way. Then at the end of the day, sit down and surrender anything that came up during the course of the day that you overlooked or didn't have time to pay attention to. This is called cleaning up and most people find that they sleep better. Another way is to keep a notebook where you write down your successes. You might put down the goal of constant surrendering and follow it up with what the results were. Another way to let go of your resistance to surrendering and as you start the day, reaffirm your intention to let go of all negativity that day. You also reaffirm that you are free not to surrender. After all, it is totally a matter of choice. Let go of any feeling of compulsion about it. There isn't any should. So don't feel that you should surrender. You don't have to surrender if you don't want to. Only surrender if you want to. So that's quite a lot of instructions. To have a routine where you surrender in the morning that you're gonna let go of all negativity and also surrender everything that happened at the end of the day. Keep a notebook where you write down your goal of constant surrender and remind yourself that you want to let go of the feelings instead of holding on to them. Obviously, easier said than done, but still, I think a goal definitely worth striving towards. I don't know if I'm gonna try the routine of surrendering first thing in the morning, but I might surrender at night when I'm lying in bed and thinking of what to think about uh, while I'm lying in bed trying to sleep. In a previous book that I read here, I think it was called, yeah, Feeling is the Secret. That book said that while you're lying in bed, imagine as if you have everything you already intend to have and focus on that visualization and that feeling as if you already have it. But I think this letting go thing is more important to think about at the end of the day. Letting go of all the things that bothered you throughout the day, all the things that didn't go your way the way you wanted it to go, any feelings of negativity, letting that go. I think that's such a great way to end the day. So I may not start my day with surrender, but I'll end my day with surrender if I remember to. And my phone, every time I check it, will remind me that I don't want to hold on to feelings. I want to be free of them. He gave a picture that constant surrender just surrenders everything that comes up immediately as they arise. That includes thoughts, that includes feelings, that includes expectations or desires. David Hawkins, the author, said that he surrendered for 11 days straight 
just sitting all day every single day for 11 days after the death of someone very close to him and after 11 days of continual surrender just sitting in silence he said it finally ran out and he's had no more to surrender and he was at peace but anyway sitting uh, for 11 days straight in silence all day every day that's like some zen buddhist monk type shit anyways this kind of stuff really fascinates me it's not just spiritual stuff but also very practical stuff trying to become unblocked more free and just happier as everything becomes lighter as you let go of everything if you enjoyed what i read for you then i highly suggest you get the book letting go not everything in there is gold like there are some stuff where i'm like oh, i'm not too interested in this part but there are so many nuggets of gold sprinkled throughout the entire book that it is totally worth getting the book and at least skimming through it and reading the parts that catch your eye. I can see why this guy named Julian Blanc said that if he was stranded on an island and had only one book to take with him, he would take Letting Go and reread this again and again and again. I mean, I don't feel the same way, but it was a very good book. And it's totally in line with getting 1% better. Having said that, 1% better every day, baby. I don't want to do legs today. Honestly, I'd rather do push-ups, pull-ups, and dips again and build my upper body because I'm vain. I'd like to have a big upper body, but legs are the most practical and useful muscles that we use and that I possibly need on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's get to legs today. I'm going to do step-ups as slowly as possible. Do it for maybe 10 minutes for each leg. Jesus Christ, that was just under 11 minutes <sighs> doing each leg to failure over and over and over again for about five minutes each. Oh man, that <laughs> even, even five minutes on each leg nonstop is just so painful. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stop it there, but oh my God, that was, that was a pretty good workout regardless. Mission accomplished. Seems like Tigger comes for cuddles every morning. Even though he didn't sleep with me last night. Mochi loves snow. And Tigger wants to go out as well, but he won't come back by himself, so I can't let him out. She likes the couch sometimes. Not for very long, but... But Mochi likes to come up on the couch for a bit. And here's Tigger!